What is this? Unlock at level 20, what level am I? 13? It all starts with you, Quincy, do your job. The first few rounds are just easy. Quincy can go ahead and wipe all these guys just on his own. Oh, level 14 already? This is going a lot faster than I, what the hell, who are you? I think I've just made the ultimate strategy in Balloons Tower Defense. <laughs> <laughs> Nine jack shooters in one tiny area. Oh, I can unlock the magic monkeys now. Wizard monkey it is. I'm going to be able to unlock all the monkeys and open up what's in that present. Oh, there it is, level 20. I did it. And I unlocked the super monkey. Now that I'm level 20, I want to go back to the home screen, which means I need to die. All of you, get out of here. Wait, this guy's not even super. I just, <laughs> he didn't even do anything. Whatever. I can get it now. I need about half a million more pops if I want to be able to use this thing. That's fine. I should be able to get that in one good game. And now that I have more monkeys to help out, one magic monkey to cover until Quincy can come in. And then with Quincy in, it should be a breeze. Uh, sniper monkey, go, please. It's always important to have a sniper monkey. No matter who you are, place a sniper monkey. They're the best monkeys in the game as far as I'm concerned. Oh, and we have a, a little water source. I can place a submarine now. I have nothing unlocked for him, but I mean, this is how we start. And let's place the ever so important glue monkey down. Now balloons are 50% slower, so I'll be able to pop them just that much faster. And this is a super long track, so balloons being slowed, kind of a good thing. Let's place another sub down. That'll be good. And it's pretty much double monkey XP. I guess that's what it's called. What I want to do, though, is start to upgrade my wizard monkey because guided magic lets the shots go crazy. It also hunts down balloons. So if one happens to be like all the way over here, a guided missile will come and get it. And then I can give him fireball, which essentially works as he's now a cannon. If the sniper monkey's number one, the wizard monkey is number two. Maybe wizard monkey's number one, actually. Just a few more, and with glue splattered down, he now covers about six to eight balloons, I think is what it is. And so I pretty much don't need to worry about anything for a while. Round 32, and I've saved up enough money, I'm curious on what this dragon's breath upgrade is. It says spew endless flames at nearby balloon. Oh, I guess I can find out. What, am I just a flamethrower now? That's insane. Are balloons even gonna be able to get past me? Oh, the issue is though I can't detect camo balloons. So camo balloons are gonna be a pretty big problem for me. Do you guys have anything for camo balloons? Wait, does this say what I think it does? If that upgrade read like I think it does, it should mean the submarines are about to be able to act like snipers. I have $500, let's find out. Oh my God, it actually does. Wow. So that means it's just a non-stop, just array of bullets everywhere on the map. Now, all I need to do is place some mortar guys down. And if I get signal flare, that will erase just camo balloons entirely. Everywhere starts splitting to three on impact. That literally is just like the uh, sniper monkeys sprayer upgrade. Oh, that was a Moab. Uh, it's gone now. And now we're in free play, which is where I wanted to go. Cause I need all the balloon popping I can get. Oh, I have enough for a super monkey now. Super monkey go down here, I guess. I have enough for two super monkeys and put one here. I don't really know how good super monkeys are. So far, not a single dart's been thrown by them, so that's kind of worrisome. But if I just keep placing super monkeys, eventually I'll have the whole map covered. This has got to be one of the dumbest strategies I've ever employed. Just four super monkeys unupgraded. That's good though, no, because then I'll be able to get XP to upgrade them. I'm sure the super monkey has some stupidly broken upgrade path. All right, I'll stop at five super monkeys. That should be enough. What I still need to do is upgrade my sniper monkey to be able to hit hard. And I should place another signal flare mortar, but this time right here. I've given it faster and rapid reload. I've pretty much given up on my mortars actually popping balloons. As you can see, this one has only under a thousand. They're really more just a clear camo. Oh, wow. Balloons actually are starting to get decently far. Should I be worried? No, because I'm about 700 away from full auto. Come on, so close. Yes, here it is. That's literally such a fast fire rate. Oh my gosh. So it looks like I'm able to just manage about everything on here. What worries me is these purple balloons, because purple balloons can't be popped by energy, which happens to be my wizard, who is my main popper. However, my sniper monkey doesn't shoot energy. It's just raw bullets. So I guess technically the purple balloons should be fine. See, look, oh no. Balloons are already starting to make it super far. Oh, that's worrisome. Shoot faster, sniper monkey, shoot faster. Oh, okay. Oh, thankfully they cleared that. Now I'll be able to buy another full auto rifling though, which is good. I guess I should get some more sniper monkeys ready. I'm assuming if I were to have three or four sniper monkeys with full auto, that would be the best. And honestly, these super monkeys aren't really doing much. I'm gonna go ahead and sell them and these tack shooters specifically just to work on sniper monkeys. However, this knockback upgrade pushes balloons backwards. So it seems like it'd be really good to have on my front too. If I can just keep balloons right here in just the death zone, that works out for me. 
And now I can get knocked back. Oh, and I'm about a thousand away from getting knocked back on that one too. I wonder how well it actually works. Well, the moment balloons actually can get out of the starting area, I guess we'll find out. Round 73, this round gave me trouble whenever I played it last time, but right now it looks like it's taken care of perfectly. This is one of the deadliest rounds in BTG6, I think. So far, it's about as easy as round one. <laughs> is this it? Is this really it? Have I maybe gotten too strong? Wait, what I need to do is actually work on one more wizard. Because I remember at round 90, there's deadly Moabs that come in. Wait, summon Phoenix? Hold on. How much does that cost? 3,400? Man, maybe screw the full auto sniper monkeys if I can bring a literal Phoenix into the fight. That sounds like it would be way better. Summon Phoenix, perfect. All right, I'll use the Phoenix on the ZOMG so we can actually get a really good look at how that works. So I'm curious on what's gonna happen. And I can buy another one. Two Phoenix upgrades? That sounds kind of broken. Do I have enough? Yes, a third full auto sniper monkey now. I just keep getting stronger by the second. I cannot be stopped. Round 78 is nothing to me. The balloons aren't even appearing on the screen. Please, guys, g give them a chance. This, oh, my, oh, so many balloons appeared at once. So many Quincy ability, go. Oh, those are the, that's the farthest the balloons have ever made it. All right, ZOMG round, round 80, which means it's Phoenix time. The moment it appears on the screen. ZOMG, go, Phoenix. Oh, it just constantly is shooting a, just beret of fire. Go, Phoenix, too. That's so strong. Look at how fast everything's just dying. These guys are broken. A ZOMG's not even gonna make it past the starting area. That should be perfect for the Moabs that I'm thinking of. And do I have enough for, yep, yeah, there's another full auto sniper monkey. <laughs> I guess I'll also go ahead and place another wizard monkey down to also try and get a third Phoenix. Cause their cooldown rates are gonna stay the exact same. So I'll just be able to pop three Phoenixes on the field at any given time, as long as I have them. And Dragon's Breath is just an insanely good upgrade. I mean, shooting a literal flamethrower out of your hands, it he's almost pop a hundred thousand. That's how good it is. Die balloons, die. There's they're fortified red Moabs, and they're still being erased. I just keep getting Phoenix upgrades. Can I ever lose technically? And Phoenix. <laughs> You get so much money in these higher rounds, it's not even fair. Well, it is. The rounds get exponentially harder and I need the money, but still. See, like this instance, two phoenixes go down, everything starts to get cleared off the screen, and I still have two more sitting ready for round 85 if need be. Wow, round 85 was kind of a breeze, huh? I just gotta keep the pressure going. I'm also gonna go ahead and get yet another wizard monkey and put him in a dragon's breath as well. I learned my lesson. The moment round 90 begins, the kitty gloves come off. And another phoenix. <laughs> oh, having a legendary bird on my side, let alone five of them is so easy. All right, here it is, round 89. This round should go over smoothly, and then round 90 is the big one. Please, everything just die for me. No need to be difficult. Yeah, everything's starting to get cleared up. They're making it about halfway through. Oh yeah, and here it is, DDT. This is what I've saved all five of my phoenixes for was the one specific DDT balloon. Whew, okay, here we go. So DDT balloons, they have their nice little ceramics, and honestly, these are being taken care of fine. I'm gonna use one phoenix here, and there it is. Pop the other four. Five phoenixes on the screen to hopefully deal with all this. Please, oh, we got one. We broke one down, yes, get two. Oh my God, we did it, we cleared it, we cleared it. All it took was five mystical birds to be able to clear it, but by God, we did it. Oh, I was so afraid. I was so afraid that was gonna be it. And look at the damage, look at all the five of them are still shooting at the start. Oh, those poor balloons. Those poor, poor balloons just taking constant acid, constant fire damage, constant six sniper monkey damage. Their life is nothing but suffering, but that is the life they chose when they decided to go against me. It's at this point where I might as well just pop phoenixes every once in a while, because I have them on a constant refresh, and by the time these guys go away, I usually have another phoenix from before. So things like three ZOMGs just packed together, not really an issue for me. I wonder if I've reached a pop count. What did I need? Half a million? I've got to by 93. Whoa, 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 DDTs, DDTs, phoenix, go. Uh, 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 set, set target right here. Set target right here. Phoenixes, please. No, no, not the DDTs. Not the DDTs. Oh my God, I almost popped a million balloons. I popped like a million balloon. What do you mean? Why do I, how do I not have him yet? All right, let's do this one more time real quick. Now, as long as I can just break this one red Moab, which I'm almost 100% confident I can, I should have enough to unlock the, no! All right, this better be it. I better be able to quit after this. Did I unlock you? Please, how? This should be the time. Clear everything off my screen. 
I've clearly popped 73,000 balloons. If for some reason I can't unlock this freaking monkey. Oh, thank you, game. All of that for one monkey? Oh, you better be worth it. Okay, I have enough. Oh, he's also like the sniper. He just has infinite range, I guess. Oh, he's, he just shoots a whole like array of bullets dead ahead. Yeah, these guys already look like they're gonna be amazing.